Hello there, Brightsiders! These riddles are gonna be a bit different than usual. No witches, detectives, or whatever. Let's go! Take a look at this pic. On the left, you've got a set of words. They're not linked to each other in any way. On the right, you've got a set of weirdly shaped geometrical objects. Your task is to match each word to the corresponding object. Alrighty, let's see the answers. Voila! Let me break it down for you. It's necessary to look for external similarities between words and pictures. This is called word recognition. We recognize words as a whole, not by individual letters. Easier to spot spelling errors. That's why we can read abbreviations. We recognize familiar words even if letters are missing. Next one. You gotta use your math skills here. So, in front of you lies a whole treasure. 10 bags, each of which contains 1,000 coins. 9 sacks contain real gold coins, and one contains extremely fake ones. A real gold coin weighs 5 grams, while a fake one weighs 4 grams. How to determine in one weighing on the scales which of the bags contains fake coins? The scales are accurate, but there is only one approach to them. Here's the right approach. We take one coin from the first bag, two from the second, three from the third, and so on, up to 10 coins. Weigh these 55 coins. Gold coins could weigh 275 grams. If one gram is missing, then fake coins are in the first bag. If two grams are missing, then fake coins are in the second bag, and so on. It's curious that this task is easily scalable. The number of bags is not important. At least three, at least a thousand, everything is solved by one weighing. This riddle got pretty viral on TikTok, but in case you missed it, you can try to solve it right now. He claims that according to the FBI, if you solve this riddle, you're smart enough to become a special agent. So, a man and a woman go out to dinner on their first date. The evening is very hot, and they bring water with ice. The woman is terribly thirsty, and she drinks three glasses in one gulp. A man drinks one glass in small sips throughout the evening. Later, he writes to her that he suddenly became ill, weakness, dizziness, breathing problems. At midnight, he passes away. The police call the woman in for questioning and announce that there was poison in her glass and in the man's glass. It was poison, so why did the man get poisoned and the woman not? I'm sure you already guessed the poison was in the ice. The woman drank so fast that the ice cubes had no time to melt, so the poison had no effect on her. The man drank slowly and the ice melted, so he swallowed poisonous water. I guess pretty much any brightsider can become a special agent. Now look at this picture. Keep in mind that it's not that simple and only 1% of people can figure out what's wrong with this image. Hey, look closer! The woman in the red dress on the right doesn't have an umbrella, but she doesn't get wet. Two coins are worth 30 cents. One of them is not 5 cents. What are these coins? This one was easy. 25 cents and 5 cents. One coin is not 5 cents, but the second is 5 cents. Look at this picture closely, because the riddle is all about your attention. Now tell me, what time is in the picture? To make it a little bit easier, I'm going to give you a couple of options. A. It's 5 a.m. B. It's 11 a.m. C. It's 7 a.m. Take a look at the long shadows and the snow lying on the cars and the burning lanterns. Well, I guess it's 7 o'clock in the morning in the picture. Look at the picture. Do you spot anything weird here? The shipping deck seems to be way too slim. Seems like it was built after the ship had arrived at the port. 
Allison is quite a picky eater. She likes grapes, but she can't stand peaches. She's into squash, but she never eats carrots. So now you have to figure out what Allison prefers, pumpkins or apples. This girl may be finicky, but she does have some logic. She only eats things that grow on vines, so she's going to prefer pumpkins over apples. There's a clerk at the butcher shop. He's six feet tall, and he wears size 13 sneakers. What does he weigh? Of course, it's meat. There's a word in the English language in which the first two letters signify a male. The first three letters signify a female. The first four letters signify a great man. And the whole word means a great woman. Can you guess this word? It's the word heroin. A hen and a half lays an egg and a half in a day and a half. How many eggs does one hen lay in one day? Yeah, it's pretty hard to think of a hen and a half. As for an egg and a half, I can only imagine it in a cooked form. One and a half days is the easiest criterion here. So, with all the given information, it must be that one hen would lay one egg in the same time period. One and a half days. But if one hen lays one egg in one and a half days, it means that one hen would lay only two-thirds of an egg in one day. So the answer is two-thirds of an egg. A young man wants to have it, but when he grows up, he no longer wants it. He attacks it with a blade in his hands, but it's always in vain. What is it? It's a beard! Hey, I've got a riddle rhyme for you. I'm rather large and usually majestic. I'm every hue of the rainbow. I can eat you. I may heat you. You only wish you could see me. What am I? It's a dragon. The last but not the least. Get ready. This one's going to be pretty long. Carl's two grandmothers want to see him every weekend, but they live on the opposite sides of town. Not to offend any of the grannies, he tells them that every Sunday, he'll head to the subway station nearest to his apartment at a random time of the day and will hop on the next train that arrives. If it happens to be the train traveling north, he'll visit his grandma Erica uptown. And if it happens to be the train traveling south, he'll visit his grandma Liz downtown. Both of his grandmothers are okay with this plan, since they both know the northbound and southbound trains run every 20 minutes. But after a few months of doing this, Grandma Liz complains that she sees him only one out of five Sundays. Carl claims he chooses a random time each day. How can this be? Keep in mind that the trains always arrive at their scheduled times. Although both trains come exactly every 20 minutes, the timing matters a lot. Let's imagine the northbound train comes on the hour, on the 20 and on the 40. So at 8, 8.20, 8.40, 9, etc. Now let's suppose the southbound train comes on the 4, 24, and 44. So 8.04, 8.24, 8.44, 9.04, etc. This means in any hour, there will be only 12 minutes in which the southbound train will be the next train to arrive. So, if Carl arrives between 8 and 8.04, between 8.20 and 8.24, or between 8.40 and 8.44, he'll get on the southbound train. Otherwise, he'll get on the northbound train. But as Carl always comes at a random time, and the southbound train supposedly arrives after the northbound trains, Carl gets to see his grandma Liz pretty rarely. 
that's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.